Hello Internet, I join you this week from a land of, of red and uh, a land of showdown and uh, this is something that I'm actually a little bit nervous about. Um, you can probably see what's, what's going on right now and uh, probably in the title might give it away as well too but um, for any of you that don't know NPA9 has been going on the last few months. Um, I have been um, uh, manager of Seafoam Islanders uh, which is a team that uh, I won I won with uh, in NPA two as a player, and so uh, in NPA eight, you know, I, I resurrected the Islanders. Um, we got to the playoffs, uh, lost in the um, wild card, unfortunately. But this year, NPA nine, uh, we are in the final. This is the grand final of NPA nine, and so seeing as the seven days in a week, the seven players, and um, this is the first game. I'm nervous. Um, my guy is um, Thunder Raikou. Over there, Martin. Uh, even though Benny is my friend, he's on the uh, the opposing, the rival team. So uh, no cheering for Ben. But yeah, the opposite side is the uh, is the side that we're going to be cheering for here. So um, yeah, if you follow NPA, maybe you see uh, you know how this is. How you maybe you know the results already. You know, seeing as this is being recorded for like in the past. Um, but um, here's my reactions. And <laughs> and um, I might um, some other islands might sort of you know jump in the call as well too at some point. Um, in fact, I'll just uh, pop in there so they can join me if they want to. Um, okay, right. So, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. <laughs> so, we've just done a few a few test games with Martin. Um, but, uh, like, against, uh, against some similar stuff that uh, Ben has been using in past weeks, uh, this isn't something that I tested against Martin just now. Um, uh, he did do a few of the games with... Um, Gilberto, another one of our Islanders as well too, so I don't know if, if this was something that he tested against, but um, oof, I don't know, this is interesting, this is different, normally it's me being an idiot, you know, battling and clicking buttons and stuff, but this week, well, <laughs> this week, this is my week off playing, but like, I guess, but I'm more nervous about this than uh, any blooming Basel Stadium live. <laughs> so, okay. The Drake Assault, I mean, I, I do like Drake Assault, I think it's pretty good. Um, the last time we played uh, the Blizzards, who is our opponent in the Grand Final, um, they, like quite a few of their, their, their team members used Ferrothorn against us, and a lot of the teams that we used that week didn't really have many Ferrothorn answers, so it's funny that this time we're the one with the Ferrothorn, and, uh, and they don't, so... Uh, I don't know, aside from the Arcanine, Furthorn looks pretty good here, unless the uh, Tarantar's got, like, Flamethrower or something, but... Um, here we go. Game 1 of the first battle of the NP9 Grand Final. So, uh, this is my chance to uh, be a commentator, I guess. <laughs> uh, which I've, I've only, like, barely done a few times. Whew. I'm really, really nervous. Cause, like, I, I really care about this. Like, it's been since, you know, everyone's been locked down and, and whatever in various different parts of the world. We've spent a lot of time um, with our with our NPA teams. And, um, you know, I, I, yeah, I love these guys, these islanders. It's, it's been such a pleasure to uh, to uh, to be with them. But decent turn one. Uh, the Grimmsnarl being knocked out is great, um, only in, in return of a snarl. But um, the light screen is up now. Uh, potentially for you know seven more turns is probably light play. Um, okay. So now Ben's threat is going to come in, which seems like it's going to be the Corviknight. Hmm. Will Martin have brought the Charizard? Will he have brought the um, Drake Assault? I think he'll have brought at least one of them. I think he probably will have brought the uh, the Drake Assault. I would imagine, but. Has Will O' Wisp to worry about from the Arcanine potentially, and uh, if this Corviknight starts like I'm defending up, then even though even though Drake Assault you know, hits very very hard, um, could be a little bit of an issue. You might be forced to, to Dynamax it. Yeah, here it is the the Drake Assault. Speed control's not a problem. Snarl pretty much wasted there. That's good, but I'm assuming. Okay, I was I was assuming there's going to be some kind of a setup move from Corviknight there, um, like a bulk up or a nine defense. But this is fine because. Now, um, we're at 3-3, three, three, but this Corviknight and uh, the Arcanine actually are, are threatened quite heavily by both of these. With the light screen up, the Arcanine will survive, you know, like a hyper voice. Um, a Max Geyser will probably knock it out, but you've got to imagine he's going to want to Dynamax the, um, 
the Drake assault, so maybe you could double into the Arcanine, seeing as the um, the Corvid Knight isn't really threatening too much here. But at the same time, there's always the risk of you know doubling up into a Protect, and the Corvid Knight switches into um, something. You know, Gastrodon wouldn't be very good for uh, both of these Pokemon. But if he's brought Gastrodon, I'm not sure. Um, I suppose it looks decent against the team. You know, it's good against Charizard most of the time, good against Drake Assault, good against Primarina, unless it's got Energy Ball, this Primarina. No swaps, though. He, he does double. Okay. I mean, I'm assuming this is a double with a Hyper Voice. Yeah, it was. Okay. And <laughs> two critical hits. Uh, okay, that's fine. The Recoil is probably going to knock him, knock him out there as well here. So, it's Tyranitar, the last Pokemon. It can Dynamax. Um, game... I mean, the game isn't over yet, because, you know, it's weakness policy. Uh, Moonblast isn't going to do a, a massive amount since it Dynamax is here. Uh, Wormwind will bring it down to minus one, at least. But we'll see if we do. Oh, just hydro, hydro Cannons. Wow, okay. And it is weakness policy. Rockfall. Okay, good. Okay. If you Rockfalled into the Drake Assault and knocked it out there, um, which you probably would have done at plus one, then um, that wouldn't have been very good, because Primarina was, you know... Stranded for the next turn. Yeah, nice one. Okay, Iron Defense on the Max Guard. That kind of shows that the Tyranitar maybe doesn't have a fire attack, else it probably would have tried to get the sneaky attack on the Frothorn that turn. Uh, maybe he just wanted to try and, you know, Max Guard to uh, um, get rid of the last turn of... Last turn of... Um, the Drake Assault's Dynamax, but a Body Pressure should finish this off. Yeah, nice. Okay, so a couple of, criti <laughs> a couple of critical hits there, but um, a good... A good game one, and um, that, that did seem like a pretty strong game one for Martin there. Um, okay, good start. Uh, but the next game, Gastrodon might come since, like, Ferrothorn is, like, the big answer to Gastrodon, but Ferrothorn uh, is so slow, so it doesn't put on, like, that much pressure. So, you know, something like a Gastrodon Arcanine together might be a little bit of a problem, but um, at that point, you know, Drake Assault... Um, I mean, the Dynamax Drake Assault still will do a lot of damage to Gastrodon, but we'll get into the game too. And uh, keep our fingers crossed. <laughs> oh, here I am doing like analysis and and uh, and commentary on this on this game. I bet like because most of the games are scheduled for the weekend. In fact, all of them, but this one. This is Wednesday. This is going on on Wednesday of the last week as you're watching it. Um, the rest of the games are scheduled for uh, Saturday and Sunday. So there's going to be a lot of a lot of nervousness around. Uh, Around that, I'm, I'm probably sure. <laughs> I'm sure my uh, my commentary won't be as as uh, concise as uh, I'm pretending it's it is right now. Um, I'm sure I'll be a lot more nervous then. But um, okay, let's get through this game first because um, yeah, Ben changes things up. Um, we do know now that this is a weakness policy Tyranitar, and um, how many ways has Martin got to get through this Tyranitar? Not. A massive amount. Um, okay, okay, good. That's not a um, good. Okay, it's not a two-hit KO on Primarina. Oh, maybe it will be with the sand damage. Um, although, mm, yeah, with the um, ooh, yeah, with a snarl or a flare blitz or heat wave or whatever this Arcanine wants to do, it could uh, it could double into the Primarina here. There is the Tailwind option, Tailwind and um, Max Geyser into the Arcanine. I'm thinking that he doesn't want to target the Arcan the uh, he doesn't want to target the uh, Tyranitar rather right now because whatever he does hit it with, he's not gonna one shot it and he doesn't really want to activate the weakness policy because this Tyranitar only gets really threatening when uh when it's uh when it's boosted. And uh yeah, just okay, that's interesting. That's a, a I I can yeah, respect that play. Unfortunately losing the pre marina here, okay, so that was a slightly lower roll. Slightly higher roll, second to third time, but Tailwind's up. Martin's Dynamax is gone, though, so we're going to have to hope that Bolt Beak's hit. Um, the Starfall into the Arcanine was quite a quite a quite uh, an interesting play, obviously uh, predicting some kind of switch out there, maybe into the Gastrodon, um, which, you know, I can, can respect that play. Obviously, if it was... Oh, and there it is, so there is the Gastrodon. Ooh, is he doubling into this to hope for the knockout? I think he has to. Okay. Oh, but he targets the Whimsicott. Okay. Is it Ferrothorn in the back? It is Ferrothorn in the back. 
But unfortunately, Ben has still got his Arcanine. So, mm, so Tyranitar is is in range of um, a Bolt Leak, obviously. This Ferrothorn of Martin's uh, hasn't actually, yeah, think about it, hasn't got Power Whip either. Um, unless he's like changed it last minute, but. Hmm. Have we seen much from this Arcanine? Do we know if it's a uh, special or physical? We saw Snarl last game, didn't we? Um, I mean, they, they tend to go special now, I think. Because um, if it was physical, like, Furathon can start Iron Defensing up here, and, um, like, even, like, after two, two Iron Defenses, Flare Blitz won't do a massive amount of Furathon, although, like, I'm not sure how that would play out completely, but... Hmm. Yeah. First of all, we need to um, hope this 80% Bolt Beak hits the Tyranitar. That's the first course of, of action. Unless, maybe the Dracozot protects this turn, which he is going for. Yeah, expecting the Protect and Earth power here. And there's the Iron Defense. So yeah, okay. N nicely called that turn. He's still not in a great position, but you know that was a... Uh, he, he essentially got a free, a free Iron Defense that turn. But now, yeah, okay, Bolt Beak hits. That's good. He might Iron Defense again here, yes. Uh, an Earth Power Dregazot unfortunately knocks it out, so can this Ferrothorn win by itself? Um, I mean, we'll see if it's physical or special here. Okay, it is, it is, it is physical. Okay. And he yawns. Right. I wonder if a Body Press knocks out Arcanine from where it is right now. If it does, then he might be able to take the Flare Blitz. Yeah, I was kind of worried about that. Yeah, yeah. Take the Flare Blitz, knock it out, and and hope it wins the one-on-one -on -one versus the Gastrodon. Um, but yeah, that was, I mean, that was a, a very reasonable play from Ben. That's kind of what I was fearing too. But I, he had to, he had to uh, to body press into the into the Arcanine there. Like that was always, that's always a threat in front of the first one, obviously. So we'll see how much Flare Blitz does here. Actually, with the Flare Blitz recoil, assuming he goes for a Flare Blitz, if he's got Will O Wisp. We'll probably see it here. Because um, if he does Flare Blitz, like the Recoil and Body Press will, will knock it out. But then there's going to be Sleeping Ferrothorn next to um, this Gastrodon. So, I don't know. He might be might be looking up how much Flare Blitz does to, uh, to Ferrothorn right now. Because, um, yeah, I don't know. Like, should Ben just Flare Blitz? He does. It doesn't do a whole lot. So I'm just wondering, like, maybe you, you Leech Seed one of them. Oh, that Earth Power does more damage than I was expecting. Yeah, so, okay. Arcanine goes down. Ferrothorn is asleep now. Um, it has got leftovers, so it's got some recovery. But, yeah, yeah, two Earth Powers is going to knock it out here. Okay, so, into a Game 3. Into a Game 3. Scary times. Here we go. Okay, come on, Martin. <laughs> yeah, Martin. Martin's actually record-wise has been um, one of our best players this season. But yeah, that was. Where did that game go wrong? Because it seemed like I'll just go back to the second game here. I'll just quickly flick through it because it seemed like yeah, this Tyranitar was was the issue. Yeah, you got a nice double into, into the Sylveon. The protect on the Arcanine was quite big. Um, I suppose if he had gone for a geyser into it, it would have done a lot of chip damage, although that wouldn't have actually come into uh, into play since the uh, um, the rain wouldn't have come into play since he was rock falling anyway. But more chip damage on the Arcanine would have been, yeah, probably not too good. Yeah, yeah, it kind of fell apart at this point, didn't it? Uh, the double into the Tyranitar did that actually more than I was expecting. That Bolt Beak did like, you know, 60, 66% to Dynamax Tyranitar. That's unreal damage. Um... But yeah, from, from here, yeah, you got the nice call this turn, got the Iron Defense up, um, the Arcanine was physical, but, hmm, yeah, even, like, even this, um, the Protect turn here, like, even if he'd called this, uh, the Yawn, he had no way of getting around the Yawn, and um, he would have had to have hoped for a first turn wake and a Leech Seed hit onto Gastrodon to have any chance of winning that game. And even then, Leech Seed and Leftovers maybe doesn't do, uh, doesn't recover as much as um, Earth Power is putting out. So, yeah, okay. Scary. Okay, game three. Here we go. Same leads again from Martin. And same leads again from Ben. 
Okay. Now, obviously, he can't fake tears into the uh, into the Tyranitar here. Uh, he could. He could make the same play into the Sylveon again, which seems reasonable. But the one of the problems last game was Martin lost his his Dynamax after only two turns. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think Ben just just goes for a rockfall into Free Marina again, and there's not a lot that Martin can do about that. Ooh, well, this is definitely not good. Oh, is he doubling into the Tyranitar? Oh, it's, but it's faster. And he survives. Okay, that was a slightly lower roll. And he star falls. Um, would that... He star falls? Does that... Um, oof. Is that in Moonblast range? Uh, I don't think it is, is it? No, nowhere near Moonblast range. Um, although now we can Tailwind, obviously, but um, Primarina could be in quick attack range. I don't think it is, but like it'll be close. Um, I'm just wondering if like he he was worried about the Gastrodon. I mean that's obviously what what was going on there. Oof, not quite. Uh, yeah, he just off all into the Tyranitar again. So again, after two turns, he's lost his Dynamax. Um, yeah, and this 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 game we've got a Sylveon here, which is obviously a big problem for for Drake Assault. Um, okay, this doesn't look good. Um, yeah, this looks pretty bad. Tarnatar, it's not in range of Moonblast. Like, Aerial Ace, is, if he wants to go for that. Yeah, he had to target the, um, the Sylveon there, but yeah, he just targets the Drake Assault all day here and, uh, and wins the game, I'm pretty sure. Like, Whimsicott and Ferrothorn, I'm assuming, in the back is not going to beat, yeah, this. So, okay, not a good start then. Not a good start. Um, yeah, I mean, he just, yeah, whatever, like, I'm not sure there's many, <laughs> there's not many combinations of moves Ben can, can click here that's going to cost him the game. Um, yeah, okay, all right, so, well, the Seafoam Islanders, um, we, we won our wild card after going down 0-3, we won that 4-2, we won the semi-final, um, 4-3 after going down 0-3 at the beginning, so um, hopefully this isn't the start of another 0-3, because I'm not sure my heart can take that again, but, um, oof, okay, yeah, that's that's unfortunate, like, won the game 1 and lost game 2 and 3, okay, so that's it for this one, um, I'll be back um, tomorrow, as you see it tomorrow, with uh, the next game, um, which um, will be on, on Saturday, just gone, as you're, uh, as you're watching it, but uh, a few days' time, for the me that's sitting here right now. So, okay, we'll have to, you know, obviously repair and uh, and do whatnot for that as well too. But, yeah, it would have been nice to, to win, obviously. But, you know, I mean, we we won we won the last two sets after going 0-3 down. So, um, still have belief, obviously. So, thanks. I hope you guys have watched it. It's been something a bit different, I guess. But uh, I will see you tomorrow. So, uh, thank you and goodbye for now.